Hi, Thomas from Field Tennis. Wouldn't it be great if you could compare your game to the pro game? Or perhaps you're wondering how many forehands and backhands you hit in one game, how many of those were hit with topspin, how many hit with slice. Now you can. I have a bubble at pop wrist-worn sensor that's developed in collaboration with Peak. And I'm going to test it today to show you how it works in the real game on the court. The bubble at pop sensor is a wrist-worn sensor, so you don't need a special racket to use it, but you can just wrap it around your wrist. Uh, this wristband is waterproof and it has a very strong Velcro, so let me show you how it works. You just attach it to your wrist like this and then you press the button and now it's on. So when I start playing it's going to record all the stats from my game and later I'm going to download these stats to my smartphone and I'll show you how it works. Disclosure, I have received a free peak sensor to test and review and create a video about it if I found it useful. As you will see in a few minutes, I liked it a lot. The bubble at peak comes in a very stylish box that contains the instructions, the sensor, the charger and the tennis activation card which you use the first time you turn on the sensor. You need to install the Bubble at Peak app on your smartphone and then pair the sensor via Bluetooth to your smartphone. Make sure to charge it and then you're ready to play. Here are just a few features of the Bubble at Peak sensor. The Peak sensor is very light and weighs only around 10 grams and since it's attached to your wrist and not your racket, you basically will not feel it at all. It has 13 sensors that measure acceleration, different angles of the swing path and many other parameters which are then converted into meaningful tennis stats. One of the most interesting and cool features of the peak sensor is the ability to check the speed of your last shot just right there on the sensor after pressing the main button. The peak charger must first be charged through a USB port and once fully charged it can recharge your peak sensor three times. One full charge of the peak sensor lasts for about 6 hours of play. I've played 5 times with it so far, where one of those times was a practice doubles match and the other 4 sessions were free hitting sessions with my tennis buddies. The first thing that strikes you when checking the stats of your session is how many strokes you actually hit. In a free hitting session with my buddy, where we only took 2 or 3 water breaks, we actually rallied for 53 to 56 minutes and hit over 600 shots in that period of time. That's a very good reminder of the amount of repetition you're putting into your strokes as you work on them. The Peak app then breaks down your stats into your Peak score, which combines speed, spin and style and compares it to a pro level. 10,000 points corresponds to a pro level and when using the Peak sensor and app in a longer term, you can then track your improvement as you can see your Peak score climbing. The quick overview also allows you to see the max speed of your one of your shots and the maximum length of a rally. The lower section breaks down your shots into forehands, backhands, serves, overhands and volleys, where forehands and backhands also show you how many of them you hit flat, with spin or with slice. You can also see the average racket speed and maximum racket speed for that particular stroke. This is again an excellent way to match your strokes and what you feel about them with the actual facts about them so that you know where you really stand. For example, you may think that you're hitting with a lot of topspin, but the results will show you that you're hitting only a small percentage of your shots with a good amount of topspin. The Peak app also allows you to compare your stats with other tennis players using the app, and you can even filter the display by gender, age, and even country. There are even more features that the app allows you to do, like sending a challenge to one of your friends or followers, track your specific skills, and more. In summary, the POP sensor developed by Bubblelot and Peak is an easy to use device that helps you track your progress in tennis by giving you actual facts about your strokes, which includes the measurement of fluidity of your strokes, which is especially cool for someone like me who emphasizes smooth strokes executed with feel. If you're the type of player who likes to analyze your game with modern technology and see hard facts about your strokes, or wants to know how you compare to your peers and likes to follow your progress with real hard numbers, then I warmly recommend the Peak Sensor as it will bring your tennis experience to a new level.